मोर बिजनेस टू क्लाउड मोर पावर टू क्लाउड वी सी दैट एटी फाइव परसेंट टू नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ दी वर्क लोड विच रन टूडे ऑन प्रेम विल मूव टू द क्लाउड There will be acceleration of shift in workloads from the data center to the cloud. More solutions will be determined between cloud and edge, and understanding the architectures and the importance and the flow of data is going to be critical to getting those end-to-end -end capabilities right. Kubernetes will become business as usual. More and more services will transform across to containerized workloads, and you have to be ready to manage those throughout their life cycle. Cyber threats will not slow down. We need a scalable security infrastructure, right tools, and security automation. We need consistent and comprehensive security to protect our world against malicious cyber threats. Industry solutions. Uh, gone are those days when customers will look at cloud in a tactical fashion. They are not going to look at cloud for. Infrastructure or for saving operations costs, while that is still going to be there, uh, but they are going to come and ask for industry solution. So industry solutions, industry pivot, and industry problems is something that is going to be becoming mainstream. To me, cloud is a massive prediction in, in financial services. We will see far more of our customers looking at cloud as their primary deployment tool. Microservices will become far more strategic. The ability to not implement complete solutions, but to pick the parts of the solution that they need, which fits their requirements. Multi-cloud, to me, will become a real strategic requirement for the big financial services customers. AI and cloud are going to have a profound effect on our industry. It is estimated that by 2025, there will be a total of 100 billion. Device connections around the world. More devices means more data running across operators' network, and by 2025, this data will grow by 10 times to reach 175 zettabytes. This puts a huge amount of pressure on networks and IT systems, many of which are complex legacy environments. This is why intelligent automation is key. AI and cloud computing make the perfect match. For this data-driven innovation, customers are expecting a hyper-personalized experience, and this can only be made possible if telcos not only consolidate and organize that large influx of data coming across 5G networks, edge devices, OSS, BS systems, and as such, but also act on this data. We will see data and AI be the center uh, for all process automations and uh, innovation. Applications will no, no longer be static. They will be able to make decisions and they will be able to change their processes based upon the demand signals and data patterns coming in. I anticipate that organizations that most strategically align their AI platform investments will gain a competitive advantage in their industry. Data is key to everything. Having the right data platforms, the ability to integrate data, the ability to build data pipelines, and to run the right algorithms and enable you to do decision support are fundamental to your success. Volatility, change, the need for more data, external data, understanding all the data that matters has fundamentally changed things. We're seeing the death of looking backwards for operations. What we're moving to collectively as an industry is real-time information flows. Real-time levels of insights and significantly more predictive analytics, so you know what's coming instead of waiting for the report to show you what happened. As an industry, we make a meaningful leap into what I call the cloud data AI paradigm, or in short, CDA. There will be early adopters and followers, and I predict the leaders who make their companies become a full-stack CDA company will win. This pandemic is really going to help reprioritize and recalibrate、um, the investment and resources into building sound digital infrastructure, and it's really going to amplify both the focus from an executive level, the investments, and the velocity in terms of how organizations need to digitally transform. Secondly, the real challenge is around why even go back to normal? Projects that were planned for months and years. Were actually completed in weeks and days. You know the term "making mountains out of molehills." The pace at which they've been delivering things digitally have been making molehills out of mountains. 
is really an opportunity to almost redefine and reset what cloud actually means because it becomes both the mindset and an actual operating model within an organization versus just the destination. It's really changing the conversation to what cloud is, to how cloud can transform an organization. I think the crisis has shed some light for organizations on the need for adaptable analytics platforms like GCP with rapid data supply chain processes that really allow organizations to react, respond, gain new insights into not only the state of their business, but the movement of their business over time as things evolve in the environment. You're gonna see companies become significantly more agile. And instead of worrying about what was happening a month ago or two weeks ago, you're gonna be looking at what is coming, what decisions you should be making and looking ahead. It's a very, very different business rhythm. Operations leaders move to being forecasters. And I can't think of a more important thing to be able to accurately forecast what's coming rather than looking backwards at what happened. The modernization initiatives will begin to scale more and more. More legacy workloads will start having to transform across if people want to achieve the real benefits of cloud.